Everyone is making Instagram Reels, but not everyone is making good Instagram Reels, right? Some of you might think that to make a good faceless reel that stands out, you either have to have an editor or be an expert in video editing yourself. But what if I told you that you only need a few minutes of your time to just learn the right tricks? Four or five moments, that's all it takes! Okay, enough of this pitch. In this short video, we'll be looking at how to make banger reels without the need to pay an editor to do the job for you and also without the need of showing your beautiful face too. Awesome, right? All you have to do is not skip ahead, sit back, relax, and watch the video till the end. Uh-uh, don't skip, don't you do it. Okay, let's get started. So first things first, drag your voice recording onto the timeline. Then change this current editing interface to the vertical interface and after that go to sequence, sequence settings and change the frame size to 1080 by 1920 because that's the vertical sized format and then change the time base to 30 frames per second as well. We'll start with the motion graphics aspect. So here's an audio example. YouTube, TikTok and Instagram are the biggest platforms for video creators worldwide. Okay, let's add the logos of YouTube, TikTok and Instagram on the timeline. And let's make them match in size. Move them into different places like this. Move the YouTube logo for example all the way to the right, the Instagram logo to the left and the TikTok one to the very top. The bottom portion will be reserved for the subtitles later on. Let's start with the YouTube logo as an example and let's make these other layers invisible. Select this layer and any effect controls, let's change the position of this layer to the very right until it disappears from the screen. Then let's click on the position stopwatch, move a few seconds forward on the timeline and then we'll make the logo appear again on the screen. Now the trick is to smooth up this animation as much as possible and to do that select both these keyframes and right click on them. Choose temporal interpolation and then choose the ease in option. Keep selecting these keyframes and right click on them again. Same thing, temporal interpolation, but this time choose the ease out option. Now click on this small arrow here to expand the velocity setting of this animation. And all you have to do now is move these blue lines closer to each other to sort of make a wave in the middle like this. Here's how it looks. YouTube, TikTok. You can also add the rotation animation. Click on the stopwatch, change the rotation level to minus 25 and move forward towards the last keyframe of the position setting and then reset the value. And you can ease this animation the same way we did with the position setting a few moments ago. Here is how it should look like. Now with the other logos just redo the same thing. But one should come from the left and one should come from the top. The Instagram logo for example should have a starting rotation value of 25 this time, not minus 25. So yeah, without wasting much of your time, you'd probably know now what to do since I gave you the blueprints. Now let's add this popular wobbly or float effect that you see in reels and tiktoks all the time. First, you have to nest up your layers in order to properly apply this effect. Since we already have an animation going on, right click on each of your layers and click on nest. Do this for every layer you have before applying the float effect. For the effect itself, basically move one second on the timeline and keyframe the position setting. After that, move one second forward on the timeline. Change the position of your layer a bit and then move one more second. Change the position of your layer again and you get the idea. It's a bit annoying to create this effect at first, I know, but once you have enough keyframes, you can select them all and right click on them. Click on temporal interpolation and then click on ease in to smooth up the animation. Then to apply this effect onto the other layers, right click the motion setting on the effect controls panel and click on save preset. Name it float effect or wobbly effect and choose anchor to endpoint and then click ok. After that apply this preset onto your other logos. And as you can see the effect is now applied to the other layers. YouTube, TikTok and Instagram are the biggest platforms for video creators worldwide. One more thing though that we can do is we can select these layers and nest them all together. When the narrator says the word biggest, the biggest we can increase the size of the logos using the scale option. So we can click on the scale stopwatch, move a few frames forward and increase the scale a bit. YouTube, TikTok and Instagram are the biggest platforms for video. You can also add the paper or a blueprint background video and you can find it pretty much in pixels for free. Now let's make a transition effect. So I added this stock video right here and to add the transition between this part and this part, let's nest the paper background and the sequence together first. You can go to transitions, immersive video and you can use for example the built-in transition called VR light leaks. Decrease its duration if you want. You can add a sound effect of a camera for better immersion I guess. You can add quick stock videos in a section like this for example. They offer unparalleled reach and engagement, helping creators turn their And a good transition in my opinion between stock footage will always be the wipe effect. 
Go to Video Transitions again, and under the Wipe section, simply look for the Wipe effect and add it between your clips. If you want to customize it a little bit, click directly on the effect, and in the effect controls, choose the position where the Wipe effect is going to happen. For example, let's choose it to start from the bottom. And you can add a Wish sound effect that you can download for free online. So yeah, let's jump ahead to the last part of our video, which is the juicy part, and you will see why in a second. For this part, I added the green screen explosion video right above the final bit of the stock footage. So the explosion will be our transition towards the next chapter of our short Instagram reel. Search for ultra key and drag it onto the explosion clip. In the effect controls, click on this icon here and then click on the green color in your program monitor to remove the green screen. And under matte cleanup, just max up all of these values to clean up any green screen bits that are still left over. Now we have a nice explosion transition going on, made easily and quickly, and that will hopefully keep your short spanned viewers engaged. To mix it up a little bit, let's add some subtitles in the middle of our screen. I added this gray background cause why not? So cut a portion of your background layer and also your audio layer, then select them both and right click them. Click on nest. And the reason we did this is we want to add some subtitles to this portion of the video only. Now go to the captions and graphics interface. Go to text, create captions from transcript, and you can customize this as you want, but it's a trend to have fast paced subtitles, so just lower the values down, put single lines, and you can save these customizations as a preset so you can use them later. And by the way, if there is a mistake in the subtitles made by the AI, you can just correct it. And what I can do now is select these subtitles, scale them up a bit, and put them in the middle. We can change the font to something like Obelix Pro, link in the description if you want to download it. And then maybe color the text and make it yellow and have a black stroke as well cause why not? After that we can animate these subtitles, but to do that, you have to select your captions, go to graphics and titles menu, and then click on upgrade captions to graphics. There you go, now you can add a pop-up animation, the one you see a lot on Instagram and TikTok. You can switch to the vertical interface now, and to add the pop-up animation just scale down one of your captions to about 80% for the starting position, and then move about 5 frames forward and scale it up to 100%. Of course, smooth up the animation with the ease in and ease out options. And after saving this animation as a preset, you can easily apply it to the other captions by selecting all of your text and then dragging it from the effects panel. What you can also do next for your video is nest up these subtitles and add the wiggly or floaty effect. So in a nutshell, it should look something like this. Continue to help video makers connect more and more with their audiences. Now let's continue with the last part of the video as well as build their own personal brand. And let's add a logo of a random brand as an example. And I'm just gonna make more subtitles for this portion as well. Two hours later. Right where it says this, as well as we'll add our logo on the timeline. Right, now I'll nest up the subtitles again so I can add the motion graphics which you're about to see in a few seconds. In the effect controls, click on the position setting and move forward a bit, and then drag your captions towards the bottom. Smooth them up with the ease in and ease out options, yada yada yada. So, put the scale to zero for the logo layer and click on the stopwatch. Move towards the frame where the subtitles are now at the bottom and increase the scale up. And of course, smooth up the animation like we said previously and add whoosh sound effects throughout the animations. Then, nest up the logo layer and add the flow or wobble effect onto it. You can add subtitles on the bottom of your video in the beginning and it's easier now since we have made our effect presets and our customized subtitles presets. Finally, you can add some vignette and mess around with the color gradient aspect. Just add an adjustment layer and put it above all of these sequences. Go to the color interface and under basic correction, increase the value to 125. And under vignette, slide this option to about minus 0.6. Here's how the video looks like without the vignette. Here's how it looks like with the vignette. Now let's take a look at our final video that we put up together. YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram are the biggest platforms for video creators worldwide. They offer unparalleled reach and engagement, helping creators turn their passion into a global phenomenon. They continue to help video makers connect more and more with their audiences, as well as build their own personal brand. Perfect, just simple stuff really that looks hard to pull off, but in reality it's easy and quick to make. But you know what, because you've stuck around watching this video until this point, I'll leave the presets of all of the effects used in this video in the description below. You gotta leave a like for that, it's fair right? And while you're at it, subscribe and watch this next tutorial.